Hi, I'm Tim Harbert from Ardent Knives, and today I'm going to show you how to mount a Blade Tech Tech Lock to the sheath of your Ardent Knives knife. Uh, before we get started, I got to tell you the uh, eyelet spacing on all of my standard sheaths is the same. So this information applies to any of my standard Kydex sheaths, not just uh, the one for this particular knife. Um, so go ahead and uh, you can make slight modifications as necessary to this information and make it work for you. Um, before we get into this much more deeply, I want to talk about what comes in a complete Blade Tech Tech Lock kit. Uh, you of course have the Tech Lock. This is a large one. You have these two width reducing spacers, uh, three Phillips head machine screws. These are short three of these uh, short Chicago posts, three of these very important rubber spacers, two long machine screws, and two long Chicago posts. Take a second and play with your sheath and figure out how you want to mount it. There's any number of ways you can do it. You can mount it to your belt, uh, you can mount it to a piece of gear, uh, or you can do what I do and actually mount it straight up uh, across your sheet so that you can carry your knife inverted on the strap of your backpack. That's what we're going to sh uh, we're going to do today. This information applies to pretty much any mounting uh, setup that you can come up with. Just modify this as needed to fit your needs. Uh, grab your sheath, grab your tech lock, and uh, you can start playing with them and figure out how you want to go. I'm right-handed which means I'm going to put the tech lock on the left hand side of my sheath. I also want the sheath turned out slightly to the right hand side so I can grab it easy. Um, because this is going across the blade we're doing the corner to corner. So we're using this mounting hole here and this mounting hole here in these two eyelets. Uh, once you get that figured out take the appropriate length binding posts and um, insert them into the right holes corner to corner. This is important. Don't forget to do this. Turn it over and put on two of your important rubber spacers. These are going to provide cushion against your sheath and keep everything from uh, binding up on you. It's very important that you do this. It has the added benefit of keeping your hardware from falling out so that's really nice too. Once you get this done uh, you can mount it directly to your sheath like so. Turn it over, grab the right sized um, machine screws and drop them in. Now I go um, finger tight only on these things at first anyway. These are pretty long screws and they go all the way down so there's a lot of thread there. It's a very 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 secure setup. You're not going to lose your knife this way. Um, after you're done taking them down to finger tight, I take a Phillips head screwdriver and I give them just a very slight twist. You don't want to do it too much or else you will not be able to remove uh, this hardware should you want to, to put it on a different location later. So once you're done, uh, you can put it over your backpack strap or your belt or whatever it is you're mounting it to. Close the tech lock lock it like so so that it doesn't come open insert your knife and uh, you're ready to rock at that point. so there you have it pretty simple takes a minute or so to do and uh, it's extremely versatile now one quick note before we leave um, I buy these tech lock kits from USA knife maker I pay about 13 bucks for them and I sell them to you for 10 bucks um, I eat a few bucks every single time I sell one. And, uh, well, why would I do that? Um, well, I really believe in this product. I think it provides a tremendous amount of value to you. It will really help you mount this thing to your gear in any way that you can, you can think of, which will provide a lot of value to you and it'll make you happy. Um, happy customer means a knife maker who stays in business. So um, go ahead and get them from me. And like I said, if you have any questions, send me an email, ardentknives at uh, gmail.com. Have a good day.